Designing buildings or structures is an art, a bit like music or painting. But instead of haphazardly splodging a paintbrush around a canvas to create shapes, architects have to think very carefully taking into account the laws of physics and other things like the weather and pigeons. Also the cost. But unfortunately when cutting corners or failing to meticulously calculate every single detail, errors occur. Here are 10 of the worst architectural fails. Brilliant news! 1. The Tropicana Field Stadium Home to the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, a Major League Baseball team in St. Petersburg, Florida, the Tropicana Field Stadium has one floor. Well, roof. Yeah. In baseball, you try to hit the ball as far as you can. But when you stick a roof in the way, what do you think's gonna happen? Naturally, the structures at the stadium get in the way of potential home run balls, and sometimes the lights get smashed, sending a dangerous rain of hot glass all over the pitch. But at least they don't get wet. 2. The Citigroup Centre What do you do when you want to build a building on land that's shared with someone else and they're unwilling to move? Well, build over them. Yeah, when St. Peter's Lutheran Church was unwilling to move from the shared piece of land, Architect William Lemessurier had the brilliant idea of building a 915-foot skyscraper on stilts. But he forgot that because of the positioning of the pillars, the building was more susceptible to quartering winds. And rather than the building struts being welded, they were bolted. So, in order to avoid panic and probably embarrassment, Citigroup arranged with the Red Cross to have a secret emergency plan. And so, under the cover of darkness in the night, workers went on fixing problems with the building. But even with those repairs made, the skyscraper still stands a high chance of falling down, should there ever be a strong storm with powerful winds. 3. Brooklyn Bridge This one's not a huge error, but it's still a silly one. At the Pier 1 playground near the Brooklyn Bridge, there were some pretty fun-looking dome structures for kids to climb on. But they were made out of steel, and in the sun they would heat up. And after an infant seriously burnt themselves after touching one of them, the authorities covered them up with a tarpaulin and fenced them off, with plans of having them removed. Maybe they'll make something else for the naughty kids. 4. The John Hancock Tower Located in Boston, this 60-storey skyscraper, built in 1976, has had a few problems. Like, for example, the movement from the winds not being stabilised, to the point where people on the higher floors would suffer from motion sickness from the intense swaying. Also, shortly after completion, windows would just fall out and crash onto the pavement below. This was down to the window panes not being able to adjust to the thermal changes. But it's okay because these problems have now been fixed. 5. The Ray and Maria Stata Center Opened in 2004, this academic complex at MIT received lots of positive attention for its unique mind-blowing design. But since then, it's had so many problems that MIT have actually sued architect Frank Gehry's firm for it. It had huge drainage issues, cracks in the walls, and mould. The repairs ended up costing the school more than $1.5 million. 6. Lotus Riverside Block 7 This building in the Lotus Riverside apartment complex in China just fell over one day. The building was built with a garage on the bottom, but the foundations couldn't cope with the heavy rain. And on June 29, 2009, the building fell over, killing one worker. 7. Vidara Hotel and Spa This is a stylish building, and it's located on the Strip in Las Vegas. There are no problems with the foundations, structure's good, the windows aren't falling out, and they're very shiny. In fact, due to the curvature of the building and the shininess of the windows, it reflects rays from the sun directly at the pool area, making it too dazzling and uncomfortable to sit by the pool. This phenomenon was so popular that it's been since named the Vidara Death Ray. And it's no wonder. 8. Walt Disney Concert Hall This amazing structure in Los Angeles, California has a stainless steel exterior and is just stunning to look at. Maybe not at midday though, and definitely not if you live in one of the buildings around the area as the stainless steel exterior reflects the sun everywhere. Residents have even complained that the building causes their homes to overheat during those hours. 9. The Aeon Center Standard Oil Building Architect Edward Jurel Stone designed this building, and it was decided that it would be clad with Italian Carrara marble. 
But a year after its completion, in 1973, a bunch of slabs fell off, and the marble was also cracking and giving out all over the exterior, which meant they had to reface the entire building, which cost over $80 million. 10. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge this suspension bridge opened July 1st, 1940, and due to cutbacks, the materials that they used to save money meant that the bridge would violently sway in strong winds. Inevitably, the bridge collapsed under a 40-mile wind. Just goes to show what cutbacks can do. Which one of these did you think was the worst? Let us know in the comments below.